I've always said that I think one of the um, I call it a curse in some ways that that my grandmother put on me was she always used to tell me and and she told me so frequently that everything I did good or bad in life would reflect upon the entire Japanese race you know and I think I bought that you know I was not the sort of questioning person when my parents or grandparents said something to me um, I just sort of accepted it not that I liked it but I accepted it and I think I bought that and um, and that was reinforced all through um, high school junior high school where I, where I saw the community sort of gather together to protect a particular family in the JA community that, that might have, you know, sinned socially. And they didn't want people to think that this is normal behavior for Japanese Americans. And so they would essentially cover up. And I remember, uh, especially in, in high school and in uh, uh, college, where uh, um, sex started to become a little bit more open and, and young women were getting pregnant you know, out of wedlock. And um, my God, how that would just like spread through the community, you know. And, um, and again, people would, uh, you know, draw their wagons and, and, and protect the family and all that. But at the same time, we'd be saying very bad things about them behind their back, you know. So there was, there was a clear double standard.